First at five tonight, new developments in a story we've been tracking all day long. Police are investigating what they're calling a murder suicide in Pawtucket. Two men were found shot to death inside a home late last night. A woman was also there at the time of the shooting, but police say she was not hurt. Eyewitness News reporter Susan Campbell is live now in Pawtucket from the Blackstone Valley Mobile Newsroom with what she's learned. That woman told police she had recently ended a relationship with the shooter and that he tracked her down here. People who live nearby say they can't believe what happened. There's a cloud of disbelief and sadness hovering near the scene of an apparent murder suicide in Pawtucket. I'm devastated. I really am. William Wilson grew up with the victim, Timothy Robillard. Nice guy. That's it. Basically, I mean, very nice guy. Take his shirt off his back and give it to anybody to help him. Police say around 10 o'clock Monday night, Robert Amato broke into Robillard's home on North Bend Street, shot Robillard several times, then shot himself in the chest. Mr. Robillard was located in the, uh, the bedroom, and uh, Mr. Amato was located in an adjoining room. Police say a woman who had recently ended a relationship with Amato was also in the home. She escaped unharmed. Uh, she, she fled as soon as she saw uh, Mr. Amato coming through the window and she heard the gunshots. So as soon as that occurred, um, she was, felt her life was in danger and she fled. People who live nearby heard the deadly scene unfold. I heard five distinctive bangs very close together, like bang, 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 bang. Police say there's no reason to believe anyone else was involved in the shooting. Amato was 43 years old. Robillard was 45. Police tell us they recovered a revolver near Amato's body. And are coming up new at 6, what we found out about his criminal past. Live at the Mobile Newsroom, Susan Campbell, Eyewitness News.